Okay, Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, the question we are doing right now that is the 11A. Question number 4 part C. Previously we have done uh, A part and B part of the similar question. That is the question number 4 A part, question number 4 B part. In those two parts we have learned that how can we use the, in, in, uh, the exterior angles and interior angles of a triangle and how can we use uh, to find the values that are given to find the values of unknown. So we are having the C part that is also very simple as the previous two questions. So if we will see the question then you can clearly see there is 110 degree D 2 E N 3 E degree that is in the question the information that is given they are saying D A B is a straight line. So we know this very well this, that on a straight line if we have any angle that is 110 and D if we will add them together it will be equals to 180 degree because we are making the supplementary angles and then if we will see the interior angle of this triangle that will be 2E, 3E and D and all the interior angle basically they are unknown D, 2E and 3E so they, they try to make question difficult but this is not difficult for us because we know the techniques. So let's find the values that are the unknown in the question. So the question number C is saying Okay. Okay, the figure is saying to find the value of D and E. First of all, we can find the value of D for the value of D. We can say that 110 degree plus D degree is equal to 180 degree half. They are supplementary angles. They are on a straight line. So, D can be found very easily. That is 110 degree. So the value of D is 70 degree. Very easily we can find. And if D is 70 degree we can write here D is 70 degree. Now we know all the interior angle but in the form of E. So for E we can say D plus basically we can make the statement that angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. The value of A is 70 degree. The value of B is 3E degree and the value of C is 2E degree according to the question. 70 will be shifted there and 2E and 3E can be added together. So first we are doing this as adding 3E and 2E. Then 5E will be here and 180 degree minus 70 degree. It would be 110 degree and that is 5E. This 5 will be divided to 1110 degree. 5 that is equals to 22 degree. So the value of E is 22 degree according to the question. That is the first method by which method you can find the value of D and E and uh, in the second part of this video you can see the second method also that will be uh, related to the interior and the exterior angle of the triangle have uh, method number 2. For method number 2 uh, we can say for E. If we will find E first we can say 2E and 3E they are the interior angle and 110 degree is an exterior angle of these two angles. So we can say uh, exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. That is the statement. 
that exterior angle that is the exterior angle that would be equals to the opposite angle that would be also the interior opposite angle so if you can see 110 degree is exactly opposite to 2e and 3e so the statement will be 110 degree is equals to 2e plus 3e degree so 2e and 3e can be added together so it will be 110 degree equals to 5e 5 will be divided by here it will be 110 degree divided by 5 equals to e degree so by dividing them you will get the value that is 22 degree it can be written as e is equals to 22 that is the second method by which we find the value of e then after e is uh, basically the interior angle and the d can be found as the similar very simple as the, dip, uh, the as the previous method the d plus 110 degree is equals to 180 degree just shift it to the other side it will be 180 degree Minus one ten degree, it would be seventy degree. So these are the two methods. Supplementary angle method use kya humne yaha pe? And here we use the method that is the interior and the exterior angle. So these are the two method that we use to find the value of E and 